Hey everybody, Steven here, playing Terraria, and today we are looking at the Empress of Light. So, I know a lot of other people have posted videos on how to do the battle with the Empress of Light, which is one of the new bosses that's been released with the 1.4 Journey's End update here. But a lot of those are 20 minutes, so I want to do a shorter video here. Um, the Empress of Light is a hollow-themed boss. Uh, it can be summoned from killing the prismatic lacewing that we'll look at here in a second, and it uh, is one of two hollowed bosses present in the game. This boss is meant to be a small gap between Plantera and Golem. Uh, it can be done later or skipped altogether, as it's an optional fight, but if you fight it the moment it is available, you will face a major difficulty spike in numerous attack patterns. Um, making it really, really hard. It is definitely hard. I've only beat it once so far. Uh, my loadout right now in terms of what I'm going to be using, I have the spooky armor set, which you saw a minute ago, and then just some of the buffs that I'm using. Um, increasing my heart pickup rate or distance is one of the big things. I have a platform here. I've seen a lot of other videos where people create really cool and genius ways to beat this boss, including uh, minecart variation, which is cool. I have my heart statues lined up and then I turn them on so I can actually spawn some of those. This is normal mode, so if you deal in master mode or expert mode, this thing is going to be a lot harder. And I haven't beat uh, her in that yet. It, it's been pretty rough. Once you actually have all of this stuff ready to go and you're going to want the fires, you're going to want all that stuff. You can see it popping up down there at the bottom. So that's going to be the prismatic lace wing and I actually set up a sentry. With the spooky armor, I actually I am going to deal more damage with my uh, summoned creatures here, and uh, I also can spawn more. That's the other big thing, which is why I'm using that. But uh, it disappeared for a second, but let's go ahead and get into this battle. Once you see it, it only shows up between 7.30 in the evening up until midnight is the other big thing. Obviously, you're going to have to be in the hollowed biome here. I actually expanded this out and bought some seeds and went ahead and just expanded it out because apparently if you go outside of that she can disappear. You can also capture the lacewing in a bottle and then release her doing, during the day and uh, once you kill the lacewing and it summons this it's she's gonna be harder in the day from everything that I've seen with this but a couple things that you do need to know with that but uh, let's go ahead and skip ahead to the boss fight here. All right, so there's the prismatic lacewing. It'll start to change colors, actually, but I missed it earlier, the one I showed, and then found this one. Once you kill it, you summon the Empress of Light here, and she's pretty difficult. I'm using the UFO to move around, and then I try to stick close to my hearts, but like I said, it's just a rough boss battle. Knowing the timing of everything is something that you're going to want to do. Um, I actually use the vampire knives to gain health back, and then it's really just up to, I mean, making sure you can dodge and all of that, which is, especially with that attack, it's difficult. Um, so I'm always trying to just garner some of that health back. I've seen some of the guys on YouTube, outside of just Chippy Gamer, some of the guys that just do this and that's their channel that are doing it and they're not even taking a hit. It's crazy. I'm not that good. I'm, I'm bad at the game, to be honest. But uh, with this, that's kind of my my ploy with doing it is I was trying to garner as much health as possible and then now I'm just in this pattern right now where I'm trying to figure out everything that she does so I can actually defeat her in master mode and that's when you're going to get some of the better tiered weapons as well but hopefully that helps anybody that was looking like I said hollow hollowed biome you need to be there from 7 30 to midnight and then it'll pop up at some point after you've actually beat Plantera there. So that is it. If you liked the video, hit the like button for me. If you want to continue to follow along with all my content, hit the subscribe button for me. Thanks so much for watching.